In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys 10 tips that only the pros know in toilet tower defense. Let's get right into this. All right, guys. So the first tip that I got for you here is going to be the best units in the game. And this is actually not according to me, but according to the owner, Talantric. So I actually messaged him this morning, and this is what he had to say. So from the exclusive shop, he said that the jetpack one was the best. And then in the summons, it's the ninja for starters. And then later on, if you're lucky enough to get the Titan TV man, you're going to be set. So these are the best units that you're going to want to summon. And just so you guys know to actually summon the ninja in the Titan TV man, it's in this little pad right here. And you're not going to see it in here all the time. Every single hour about these like summons, they reset and they switch to new ones. So you just got to hope that you're lucky enough to find it when they're actually in stock. And then of course you could spend your coins and you know, hopefully you summon them. And then also to get the exclusive one, just go to your shop, scroll down, and then it's this unit right here, the Jetpack Cameraman. It literally goes up to 10,000 damage. It's super good. Most people buy the Titan Cameraman, which is also really good, but this one, according to Talantric, he said it's better. So that's the one I got. Before I get to any more tips, did you guys know that they added gifting to this game? This is really cool because it means it allows me to be able to send you guys some really strong units. So if you want a chance at getting one of these units, all you gotta do is smash the like button on this video, comment your Roblox username, and make sure you smash that subscribe button. We're on the road to 150,000 subs. I know we can hit it real soon, guys. So make sure you do those three things and maybe you'll just end up getting yourself a nice little gifted crate. Okay, now with that being taken care of, I want to get back to these tips. And the next thing that I want to talk about is actually summoning units just in general here. So there's two ways to summon units, guys. You could summon one at a time for 100 coins or you could summon 10 at a time but for only 900 coins. Now 900 seems like a lot, but it's actually a better deal because you get to summon 10 for the price of only 9. So if you're ever going to summon stuff, always save up 900 coins every single time, guys, and then summon 10. By doing this, you know, you're going to save 100 every single time. And in, just in the long run, if you don't do this method, you know, you would have saved a lot. So just make sure you go ahead and never, ever, ever only summon one. Just trust me. Take my word here, guys. Always summon 10. It'll save you a lot of coins. Hopefully that uh, point gets across to you. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next tip. All right, guys. So this next tip is going to be kind of about coins and how to get a lot of them. So as most of you guys probably already know, you could get coins just simply by playing the game and like beating the levels, right? Now that's great and all, but you have to be active and you have to be grinding to actually get those coins. Now, what about when you go to sleep and you know, when you're doing homework, if you're watching YouTube or Netflix or whatever else you're doing, you're not on this game. Well, over here, they had just recently added the AFK farm. And if you go into this and you teleport, you could actually earn a ton, a ton, a ton of coins if you go to sleep. Now, Talantric, if you're watching this video, I think it's slightly bugged because I am a Roblox Premium member. I'm also, you know, I got both of the game passes and it still says I'm only earning three, where in reality, I should be earning four. So I'm not sure about that. But let me tell you guys, if you have all the game passes and you are a Roblox Premium member, you are going to be making so many coins. I'm not even kidding, guys. It's going to be unreal. I'm going to pull up the stats like one hour, you know, maybe seven hours or eight hours, like a normal sleep time and then stuff like that. And I'll just show you guys how much you could potentially earn here in about one second. All right. So if you AFK for one hour, you could literally earn up to 180 coins. Now, if you get a full night's sleep, meaning like eight hours, and you AFK that whole time, you could earn up to 1,440 coins, which is basically 10 free summons just for sleeping and doing literally nothing. Now, something you guys may be wondering and may be worried about is, if you AFK in this game, will you get kicked? Yes, I'm pretty sure you get kicked after 20 minutes if you're not clicking your screen. So what do you got to do? Well, just look up any like auto clicker on the internet and boom, download that and you're good to go. Just turn it on and you should be fine. As long as like your power doesn't go out or your internet doesn't go out, you're going to be earning all those great coins. So make sure you do that. And then when you get back in the game, you can return back to the lobby and you can get back to grinding and actually playing the game to earn coins. But basically every time you go to sleep, that's a free 10 summons, guys. So super, super important. Make sure you're not missing out on that and you'll be rich. Guys, just remember with that last AFK tip, make sure you have the game passes if you really want it to be like super effective, okay? If you don't have them, it's still gonna be good to do, but it's just not gonna be as effective, all right? But with that being said, let's move on to something else here. The next tip is also gonna have to do with coins. 
Now, when you do sit there all night and you get 10 free summons, you know, of course, buy them. And what's going to happen is you're going to end up getting a bunch of duplicates like me right here. So you see all these like junk units? Well, you might as well just sell them. So you can click sell units and select which ones you want to sell. So you get $5. I'm guessing that's five coins. Yep, it goes up. And you can sell another one. Just, you don't really need duplicates, guys. They may add trading in the future. So if you want to save some like really rare ones, like obviously don't delete your exclusives. You paid Robux for those. But if you want to save some like large speaker men, you know, you could sell those maybe to real people like in the future. But currently that's not in the game. So the best thing you could do is just sell them ones that you already have. And by doing this, you'll get free coins back. And if you sell enough of them, maybe you'll at least be able to like earn yourself back one free summon. And hey, that's better than just, you know, letting them sit there and kind of be in like a waste of space, you know? So better to have one extra summon. And you never know, with that one free summon, you might get a Titan TV, man. Who knows what you're going to get, but I'm sure it'll be something really, really cool. So good luck with that, guys. Hopefully you get yourself a really, really awesome unit. Now, with that being said, let's get on to the next tip. All right, guys. So the next thing that I want to talk about is the difference between playing solo and playing with the group. Now, if you're solo, the enemies that you face are going to be super weak. Now, if you start adding in more and more players, which you could go all the way up to five, the lobbies are going to get a lot more difficult. So that's just something I want to bring, you know, to your attention. If you're playing with friends, it's going to be harder. But obviously, you have your friends there to help you. But if your friends are noobs and they're not really putting down good troops, they're going to be kind of just a, a bad player on your team. And you may not want to play with them until they at least get some better stuff. Unless, of course, you're just trying to carry them. But just keep in mind, like, if you're trying to do, like, one of the hardest lobbies in the entire game, it's nearly going to be impossible by, you know, playing with bad players. Just because it scales so, so much harder if you're playing with a large group. So that's just something you should, guys should definitely be aware of. All right, guys. So the next tip I want to talk about is actually in the shop. And it has to do with your Robux. So if you have a limited amount of Robux to spend on this game, the things that I really recommend you buy are really only the exclusive units. And then if you get those, preferably like these two right here, the Jetpack and the Titan Man. I mean, you could, of course, get the TV Woman, but you're kind of just paying for what you get. So if you pay more Robux, 200 for the good ones, you're going to get a better unit. If you only pay 100, we're well, going to get a slightly less better unit. Now, also, the Game Passes are pretty good, too. I recommend getting the Double Coins one first because it literally permanently like increases the amount of coins you get from every single match. Now, something that you should never buy are the coins. Like, literally, guys, don't ever buy the coins. Like 200 coins for 50 Robux, you're better off just playing in the Toilet City, which is the basic map. You beat that twice with this game pass, well, boom, you already have 200 coins. And you can just keep, you know, increasing this and increasing this and getting more and more. Like this one too, like look at, so this one's 50, so with that game pass, you get 100. This one is 200 with the game pass, you get 400. Then when you start getting over here to this other side, you're getting 800 from this one and 1200 from this one every single time you beat it. So like it's simply just way better to buy the game passes and the better units rather than buying coins because if you buy coins you might end up not even getting a good unit if you start summoning stuff with those coins. So don't worry, don't waste those Robux. Definitely only buy, you know, the uh, game passes and the exclusive units. And the shop right here like this crate, that's something that, you know, these are definitely good units, but it is risky and it might uh, feed into your gambling addiction. So be careful with that. Don't get addicted to gambling, guys, all right? With that being said, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, so this next tip that I got for you is gonna be if you're really struggling on coins. So every time there's a new update, and even in like the previous ones, the game owner, like Talantric, he always releases codes with the game. So if you guys go to your shop, scroll down, you'll notice this is where you enter your codes. And if you guys want the like most up-to-date codes, on the top right of your screen right now, I'll have a link to the video I posted yesterday that'll take you and show you all the new codes and you'll be good to go and you'll get a lot of free coins. If you don't want to leave this video, because I recommend you don't because I still got a few more good tips for you, just wait till the end of this video and I'll have a link at the end where you'll just click the thumbnail of that video and it'll take you right to it and then you can learn all those awesome codes and get a bunch of free coins. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel because every time there's a new update, I'm going to keep you guys updated on all the new codes that come out with the game so you guys can stay super rich. So hopefully you guys enjoy that but with that being said we're gonna get to two more tips here and they're very very important but these tips are gonna actually require us to join a game so i'm just gonna join the desert server and i'll meet you when i load in all right guys so we just loaded in here and there's two tips that I kind of i'm just gonna combine into like one here and it's gonna be the concept of placement of your troops that's very very important and i'll talk about that in one second here and we also have 
quality troops over quantity of troops. So let's go ahead and first talk about the placement. Now, something that you never want to do is just spam your troops right on the like, like tunnel, like entrance or whatever, exit, whatever you want to call it right here. Because you see the little circle? That's the radius that your troop has to like hit like other like, you know, enemies or whatever you want to call it. So you're going to want to make sure that like if you were to place this first unit, you would want to make sure that it has full range. So you see how the like little white circles barely touching the tunnel and everything else? That's perfect. You don't want to put it right against it because then you're wasting half of that circle's radius. Now, with that being said, before I lose here, we want to upgrade this troop. Like I said before, it's always better to have quality troops, which means upgrade your troops rather than place more. By upgrading, you get way more damage and it's way more cost effective. I promise you guys. And another thing is if you have Titans, and this is going to be uh, specifically for this map, a little tip. Great place to put a Titan is going to be right here. Because once again, you guys see the range. If you put the Titan like right here, you're wasting so much of that circle. Look at half of it's hanging off the map. You're going to want to put it all the way back here. Because then it could hit this whole front road and all the way around, all the way this way. And then all the way to about right here. And then it even could hit this road in the back in case enemies make it that far. Like it's just so much better if you guys have the right placement and quality troops you're gonna make it a lot further in these games i'm telling you right now i've beaten this mode a few times solo already and that was the difference at first i was losing every single time and it was because i thought the better strategy was to just place a bunch of units but no that's not what you want to do at all you really want to get like quality troops down now preferably the next troop i'm going to get down here is either going to be this jetpack guy or it's going to be the titan i'm not sure if i'm going to have enough money but we'll uh, we'll see. But basically, guys, that's the main point I wanted to get across to you there. I hope that makes sense. So once again, placement is key. Make sure you get a full range view of where you're gonna be. You don't want to like jam your guy like right to the tunnel where like he's wasting half of his circle. And like if you're using like a titan, you don't want to put it anywhere close to the circle either because you just be wasting so much potential. Where if you have it back here, like once again, he's basically gonna be able to reach the tunnel as soon as they come out. Look at that. You guys see that? Let me get rid of this so you don't see my text there. But he's going to be able to hit them as they come out of the tunnel. And then if they get all the way over here, he can hit these guys too. And all the way back here. And he's going to be doing so much more damage. And he's going to have so much more potential if you just place him in the right spot. Now the other key here is once again, just keep on upgrading them. Because stronger, you know, they get stronger and they're way better when they're upgraded. Compared to just placing like more troops down. I know it costs like 600, that's a lot, and you only get 50 more damage. But what's really good about upgrading too is it helps on like radius. So it increases like, you know, the circle here, and that's how far your guy shoots. And then also your cooldown on your attacks. So he'll be like this laser beam, it's kind of constant right now, it looks like it at least, but it'll be even more consistent and constant, just a straight beam, and it'll be taking enemies down even quicker. And that's for every troop, like this speaker man, if I upgrade him again, the cooldown will be even quicker. Now you'll see he's, he's attacking much faster now. So that's basically what you guys wanna do. And you just wanna go ahead, straight up, place down your best units, just make sure they're in the right spot. And I'll even continue this game out till the end. If you guys wanna stick around and just see how I beat the desert solo, I'll probably make a video in the future, like going over every single thing that I do. But if you guys, you know, enjoyed this video so much and you want to hang out and see how I complete this, you know, the solo desert, if you are struggling, then just check this out. We're going to go ahead all the way to the end. Of course, like I said before, we're going to upgrade this and that should, you know, do a lot of, you know, good stuff for us there because now our damage is up to a hundred. Our radius has been increased and our cooldown has also been decreased. So this is going to be super, super easy. We'll upgrade him again as soon as we're able to. We just need $1,200, and then we'll be chilling. Eventually, we'll start getting down some of these like little plunger guys. Maybe. We don't really need them, but they do like 10,000 damage, so they are pretty good. So we'll, we'll probably get at least one or two of them down just because they will be super, super OP later on. It's only wave 9 right now, but you know later on, it gets a little hectic. And another thing that I should probably mention, I hope you're all still here watching. You see this auto skip button? This was a, a kind of a new feature as well. If you turn that on, guys, the game is going to be 10 times harder. Even if you're the best player and you're playing with great like other teammates and you have a lot of people that know what they're doing. If you put that on, you're going to get overwhelmed. 
So I promise you, be careful with that. If you really think you're okay and you're gonna you know, beat the level, try it, but it is going to be a challenge. Now, every single time you beat around, there's a little like five second intermission maybe. What you could do is you could just click that button and it'll skip the intermission and then it'll start the next wave. But just make sure you turn it off. Otherwise, it's going to be like seriously crazy. Even if you do it right now, then the next wave is gonna start and then it's gonna like double like pile. Like, so it's gonna be wave 11 and wave 10 at the same time. And it's just gonna be super, super overwhelming. I promise you guys, you're not gonna wanna deal with that. It's just gonna be uh, too much for you to probably handle. Especially when like the bosses come and whatnot. It it's super, super hard. Now this guy is already doing 300 damage. And like, think about this guys. I'm on wave 11 already and I literally only have two troops. So hopefully like that makes even more sense by I said like, quality troops over quantity you don't need a lot of troops as long as you're placing down good ones that you upgrade and you'll be chilling later on in the game i'm gonna delete this speaker man i only put him down in the beginning because he's just good to like start the game because he's like cheap and obviously i can't get a titan like two seconds in the game i need something to you know like help me stop the incoming waves and then once we get to like about wave five to seven we could actually afford the titan place him down and then he can start doing his thing and then we'll be all fine now there's some troops in this game too or like units i think that they also stun the enemies so that could be really good for the bosses because you know by doing that you'll slow them down and that'll help you out a lot i don't think i have any of those right now but that's okay we don't really need them for this level like i told you guys we already beat this before this is kind of just the strategy i use where basically like we're just gonna get a bunch of titans down now those like you know these other things that start coming out those fast ones that is something you got to worry about because if they get by it's gonna you know they're gonna get all the way around they'll be safe all the way back here but the good thing is like i said before once they get to about or like right here our titan as you can see the little circle there he could actually reach so we don't have anything to worry about and then we're gonna just load this whole area with titans and we're gonna be completely fine i promise you guys now let's upgrade him again he went from 300 damage with one upgrade all the way up to 750 I hope that uh, just goes to show how upgrading is so much more important. And like, look at this. They literally can't even exit the tunnel. It's that OP at this point. Like, like straight up, they can't even get out of the tunnel. We are now on wave. See, look, that right there, intermission. We just skipped it. And there we go. We're on wave 14. If you guys never made it far in the desert, it actually goes all the way up to wave 30. Now, something I want to ask you guys, if you're still watching this far into the video, would you be interested in me streaming this game and like doing carries like say you're struggling and you're not that good at this game and you just need help getting some coins and you know maybe beating some of the harder levels would you guys want to see that if you do make sure you leave a comment letting me know that's like that's something you'd be interested in and make sure you join my discord server because sometimes just like randomly right now when i'm not streaming or you know sometimes like after the video i might play another game if you guys want to play with me make sure you join my discord server the link will be in the description of this video and i'll be in there you guys can hang out with me we could all join like a little voice call or something and we could just play these levels and we could beat them and just earn a lot of coins with each other and stuff like that and get super rich and i know you guys love getting you know like really good at these games so me too of course who doesn't i don't want to be bad at the game of course we want to be good so we'll uh, all work together i believe even if you like beat the last area you get like free crates and stuff so that's really cool and i would love to be able to you know do that and at least help you guys get some of those so that could be pretty cool it just kind of sucks they can only have five people per lobby but i'm sure like if we did like a stream and we had like at least 30 people or 30 to 50 like we could get a few lobbies running because i think the vips in this game they actually run up to i think don't don't make me uh you know seem too too stupid here in the comments if i get this wrong but i think it goes up to 50 players so if we get 50 players that is a lot a lot a lot of people that we could get playing and at least you know maybe i'm not the only one that has a lot of good troops like i'm sure some other people have good troops as well and they will uh gladly help too because this community is awesome so you know i know like finleaf is really good at this game i was playing with another guy last night who actually carried me through this level so he's got titans and stuff and there's a lot of other people that i'm sure are going to get addicted to this game and get really really good at it but you guys can see like this speaker man He's not even doing anything he's not even doing his job at this point he doesn't have to because these titans are just that op and because we got the placement correct we're just completely fine now like this one right here we could have probably even got it back further 
But the thing is, like, we don't even need to. Like, I just want to completely beam them down right at the tunnel at this point. Because, uh, well, first of all, I just know that uh, it'll be okay. Because I already beat this before. But, like, it's just so easy. It just really is. It's that easy. Now, another thing, like I said, we should probably start getting down maybe some of these uh, jetpack guys. Because they are going to do a lot of damage. Now, like, just look at this. 500 damage. Now, the difference between him and the uh, Titan here is... The Titan has a cooldown of 0.1. This guy's cooldown is 3 seconds. So he attacks very slow, but he does a lot more damage. Now, keep in mind, Talantric said that this is the best unit in the game. And I think I might agree because he literally does up to 10,000. If I upgrade him one more time here, you guys, here, let me get a better uh, view there. He could do up to 10,000 damage. It's insane. So, like, even those vacuum bosses or, like, the actual large bosses that start coming out of the tunnel... We could take them down in a few hits. And the cooldown when he's upgraded, it's only one second. Like, look at the work he's putting in right now. He's just going off over here. And then if you get a couple of those guys, you're doing like 30 damage per second. On, you know, maybe even more if you get a lot of them. And then combined with the Titans, guys, there's just nothing that these uh, toilets could do. Like, straight up, it's, it's a GG. Now, of course, when you start getting into the harder levels, you know, it will be a little bit more difficult because they're going to have more HP. There's different kinds of units like the glasses, toilet guys, and just other stuff like that. There's even some units, I believe, that like don't take damage from some of your units. So like you can't just spam one unit down. You're going to have to mix it up and actually come up with a strategy. But that's why in the future, I'm going to have a guide to how to beat every single map. That way, if you guys are ever struggling, you know, I'll let you know how to do it solo. But that was a boss right there, and he just got shredded in about two seconds. So, I feel bad for him. But we're about to upgrade this uh, jetpack cameraman here in about, you know, five seconds probably. Maybe? No, nah, maybe not, because these small toilets are only giving us like $5 each. So, we're not getting much there. But once we start taking out some of the toilets and some of the other bigger, you know, enemies, we'll actually have $4,000. And then we can upgrade and get that 10,000 damage plus 45 range like this guy's range is actually like really really good it's not bad at all do you guys think i could beat this if i turn auto skip on what do you guys think i think that it'll be really difficult but if you want to see me do it maybe we should try if it gets like overwhelming we'll stop but look at this this is insane now look at it. just like two seconds of it oh no it's about to get hectic, guys. We're going to need another uh, Titan down here. There we go. Let's get him down. Let's upgrade him. And let's keep on doing this. We'll keep auto skip on for a little bit. If it gets, like, just way too overwhelming, we'll turn it off. But I think that we might be able to do it. I don't know, though. We'll see. We'll see. We're on wave 20. So we still got 10 levels left. But I'm telling you right now, with this auto skipping on, it's just going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. So here we go. Will, will, will we be able to do it? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore because it's getting so crazy. Look, oh, we got a boss one. Uh-oh. That's not good. Here we go. Look, they're getting through. We're going to have to turn this off, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. We're turning it off for right now. We got to at least get past the, the boss round here. Otherwise, we're going to straight up lose. So we don't want to lose. At least I don't want to lose. So I'm sure some of you guys watching maybe want me to lose. But we got to clutch up. I just don't think you're going to be able to do it. Now, you guys can see, though, firsthand here how like intense it gets if you do put auto skip on. I wasn't kidding now, was I? It's just crazy. It is insane. Very, very hard to complete. If you are able to do that, you're straight up a pro. No questions about it. You are absolutely a pro. Now, we could uh, upgrade this guy one more time. So we'll do that. And then we're just going to be doing so much damage that we'll get back to the point where they probably can't even exit the tunnel anymore. But that auto skip is just scary. Now, I also think that this is just a boss wave in general. So, of course, it's going to be a little bit harder. Look, look at this. We got like five boss toilets in a row. They each have almost 20,000 damage. Now, we have a vacuum going out as well. That's a little scary. Let's get another uh, dude over here and we'll start upgrading him. Did I forget to upgrade this one? No, I didn't. We're good. All right. We'll keep that Titan cameraman right here in the uh, like you know middle area. And that should be just fine. We'll upgrade him one more time. And then I think there's one over here. Yeah, so we got two that I need to upgrade to max. And then we'll be able to place some more down. We only have like two that are fully upgraded or three that are fully upgraded. So we can still get a lot more down and then we'll be completely good. Now, once again, another easy wave here. Let's put on auto skip and let's just make it super hectic again. Look at all these little dudes coming out. Look at that. We're just mowing them down like it's nothing. 
it must have just been because that last one was a boss round but still look it, it does get overwhelming and oh the glasses troop is actually in this level i didn't know that I, I swear that he wasn't but oh well he's here too but there's some other crazy ones throughout the game once you start getting further and further into the stronger and stronger like the headquarters and the other like city one or the brick building one they're all just super super hectic trust me on that well, i don't know what this guy does here the car speaker man i've actually never used this one before i'll place him down just you know for the heck of it i really don't know what he does though it looks like he he does damage pretty quick 300 there cooldowns one second so that's not bad i feel like it's just like a, a less good version of the plunger guy it's just that the plunger guy obviously does 10,000 damage and this one only does 300 so that's the uh the little bit of a trade-off there so clearly clearly a big difference known to know if it's uh quite worth it but guys it is getting so hectic again oh boy look at this we might uh end up having them go all the way around here just because we had that auto skip on we uh auto skipped like three rounds right there so we got three rounds of enemies gonna be uh coming at us here so this is going to be insane we gotta we're gonna have to get as many upgrades as possible as fast as possible otherwise we might end up losing this now that dude's coming around super super quick here but we should be able to take him out pretty easily. It's an assassin toilet. Oh, yeah, he got smoked. Here we go, though. We're actually back on the uh, right track here. We could get some more upgrades in. That's going to help, too. Is there any other ones that we don't have fully upgraded here? That one, it looks like, is... Yeah, they're all good. All right, so let's get in our guy right here. And another thing that if you didn't know, if you wanted to rotate your guys, it doesn't really matter unless you're trying to, like, squeeze them into the perfect spot. You just got to press R. And then X is to stop placing your guy. It says it on your screen, but sometimes people don't read the screen. So there you go. Free little tip. I know we, uh, I think we already did the, the 10 tips there. But if you're watching this far, hey, you deserve another tip because you're a legend. If you're this far into the video, this is going to be a pretty long video now. But I hope that you guys at least enjoyed all those good tips in the beginning because I think, you know, as like a beginner player, sometimes games like this could be a little bit confusing. And now with this video, you should be fine and if you have any friends or family that play the game make sure you share the video with them because i am most positively sure that it'll help them as well now let's get another guy down here and should we put auto skip back on yes we should of course we should guys let's do it here we go we're gonna make it hectic again for ourselves so every one of our titans are upgraded what do you say we put down a few more you know plunger jetpack guys we'll just have fun with these ones now they're uh you know, like I said, they do a lot, a lot of damage. 10,000 once they're fully upgraded. So those big boss troops are easy to take down. But what's really annoying is when those small toilets start attacking. Because the bad part about the small toilets is like we use 10,000 damage on a small toilet where it just doesn't need, you know, that much. Like we don't need to waste that, all that damage on that small toilet. There's just no need for it. You know, it'd be better to just like... Only if you could like have like a targeting system where we could select certain units that it would only target because then I would only do the, the bosses and that way I would save my jetpacks like, you know, cooldown time. It would only be, you know, going after the strong units and I could have my Titans focus on the good ones and then boom, we'd be chilling. But uh, we are now on wave 30, so I am pretty sure that this is about to be insane. I'm just going to go ahead, place down a few more jetpack guys and then we'll be fine here, I think. Wave 30 is a long wave, though. Don't get me wrong, guys. We're only 16% done, and it's been going on for a while now. But we got so many of our Titans down. So many jetpack guys going off. Like, look at this. We even got the little toilet car there. Was it Car Speaker Man? He's doing work. Everyone's doing work. We're all winning out here. However, though, they are slightly overwhelming us now. This is getting a little bit scary. We're going to put down another Titan here, because... We're going to need some extra range all the way in the back over here. Otherwise, we might uh, end up choking this. But we're 50% of the way through. I'm going to keep auto skip on. And let's see if I end up choking this or not, guys. I hope I don't because I don't want to lose. Because that would be a waste of like 10 minutes of my life. That I'll never be able to get back. But we're going to try to fight it out here and see if we can clutch it up. You ready for this? I am out of uh, troop room. We're going to sell this speaker man because... If you, you know, if you guys didn't know, once you, like, max out your troops, just delete your bad ones and then put down your best ones. That way, you'll free up some space, and then you'll be fine. But I think we got it in the bag. Look at this. We're just beaming them down. If you guys ever played, like, Halo Wars, this kind of reminds me of, like, the Scarabs. It has, like, the same laser beam effect. If anyone here played that game, you're an absolute legend. 
not many people probably have because it's like 10 years old at this point but used to be pretty cool look at all those vacuums they just got smoked that was easy guys you won the match we got 400 coins because we got that game pass like i said super op to have that game pass it's really worth it if you're to spend any robux definitely spend it on that awesome game pass now with all that being said though as i promised you before you know we'll keep all these uh tip videos like updating you know anytime a new update comes out there's maybe some more tips i gotta give you guys i got you covered and of course every single week we'll hook you guys up with the new codes when like new updates come out so be sure to uh, turn your notifications on so you guys get actually notified when I post those videos. That way you get those awesome free coins. And with all that being said, if you guys haven't already, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. And make sure you comment your Roblox username. And once you do those three things, if you guys want to watch another video from me, check out the one on your screen. And I'll see you guys on over there where I'll teach you all those new codes. So with that being said, adios.